Welcome to Cognition Chunks. This is Cracking the Code, an Intro to Cryptology. Explaining Cryptology. Note this is coming from a relative novice on this topic who is trying to learn about this topic from GPT. I am not a mathematician or an expert on this topic. A follow up series to distinct types of math branches. Picture yourself in a digital landscape where every conversation, transaction, and interaction is a treasure trove of data, yet lurking in the shadows are pirates out to plunder that treasure. Welcome to the captivating world of cryptology. In essence, cryptology is the guardian and locksmith of our digital world. But how exactly does it work? Let's delve into the foundations, key algorithms, examples, and advanced applications that make up this fascinating realm. Foundational Concepts of Cryptology Plain text and ciphertext, imagine you write a heartfelt letter. That's your plain text, the original, raw message. Now, imagine you encode that letter, replacing each word with an intricate symbol. Voila, you've created ciphertext, a form of your message that is incomprehensible to anyone lacking the key to decode it. Encryption and decryption, think of this as the magical transformation process. Encryption is like your letter being sealed by an expert locksmith. Decryption is the reverse, where the recipient, possessing the special key, unlocks the letter to reveal its contents. Keys, these are the secret combinations that lock or unlock your data. We've got two kinds, symmetric keys, like a classic padlock key that both locks and unlocks, and asymmetric keys, a more complex system involving a public key to lock or encrypt, and a private key to unlock or decrypt. Authentication and Integrity Cryptology isn't just about secrecy, it's also the doorman verifying IDs at an exclusive club. Authentication ensures that you're talking to who you think you're talking to, while integrity makes sure the message hasn't been tampered with during its journey. Cryptographic algorithms, these are the formulas behind the magic, like a secret family recipe for lockmaking. Popular ones include AES, RSA, and SHA-256. Cryptosystems, imagine an entire security system, with cameras, sensors, and guards. Cryptosystems are the full package, combining algorithms, key management techniques, and protocols. You may have heard of SSL-TLS, it's the cryptosystem that ensures your online shopping spree is secure. Block and stream ciphers, think of block ciphers as encrypting a whole paragraph at once, while stream ciphers focus on one letter at a time. Public and private key cryptography, with public key cryptography, your encoded letter is put in a lockbox that everyone can lock, but only you can unlock. In private key cryptography, both the sender and the receiver share a single, secretive key for both locking and unlocking. Hash functions, picture these as unique digital fingerprints of data. Even a minute change in the original data will produce a vastly different fingerprint. Digital signatures, like putting a wax seal on a royal decree, digital signatures authenticate the sender of a message, providing an electronic thumbprint that verifies its origin. Algorithms and techniques that power cryptology RSA algorithm, imagine a vault that uses the complexities of prime numbers to control its lock. RSA was one of the first systems to employ this mathematical wizardry for public key cryptography. Advanced Encryption Standard, AES Think of AES as the Fort Knox of Symmetric Encryption, a gold standard adopted by the U.S. government. Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange, imagine two people swapping secret notes in a crowded room, yet no one else can understand what they're saying. That's what Diffie-Hellman achieves in the digital world. Elliptic Curve Cryptography, ECC-ECC is like RSA's younger, cooler cousin, securing data using shorter keys and taking up less computational power. 
SHA-256, this cryptographic hash function is the backbone of blockchain technology and other security-dependent applications. Intriguing examples Caesar Cipher, think of Julius Caesar sending coded military orders to his generals. The Caesar Cipher is just that, it takes each letter in your message and shifts it down the alphabet. RSA encryption and decryption, imagine a complex dance of numbers, as large primes and modular arithmetic intermingle to transform your message into a fortress of numbers and back again. Digital signature with RSA, picture sending a document with your unique ink stamp, only in this case, it's a series of numbers that proves its authenticity. Where cryptology is taking us. Zero knowledge proofs, this technique is akin to a magician revealing a trick without disclosing the secret, proving they know something without revealing what that something is. Quantum cryptography, picture encoding messages using particles of light, where even the act of intercepting the message changes its content. Blockchain, think of a public ledger, guarded by an army of mathematically linked blocks that resist alteration. Secure multi-party computation, imagine a group of people each holding a piece of a puzzle, they can see the completed image without revealing their individual pieces. Homomorphic encryption, this enables computations to be performed on sealed envelopes, and when you open them, the result is already calculated. Cybersecurity, this is where the rubber meets the road, as cryptography safeguards everything from your emails to national power grids. Extend your knowledge. To delve deeper into this fascinating world, consider picking up Bruce Schneier's Applied Cryptography, Simon Singh's The Codebook, or William Stalling's Cryptography and Network Security. Cryptology is a multidisciplinary field, a blend of math, computer science, and engineering with far-reaching applications in our modern world. It's a race between lockmakers and lockbreakers, where the stakes are as high as national security and as personal as your own privacy. Welcome to the endlessly intriguing world of cryptology. Was this accurate? Did GPT just make up a bunch of stuff that does not exist or does not make sense? Find out next time in the Cognition Chunks follow-up.